we are going to discuss the word see and the word saw. These are two forms of the same verb. To see means to look at. We use the present tense verb see to tell what you are looking at now. For example, I see my computer. We can also use see to tell what several people are looking at. We all see the rain. When we talk about one other person who is looking at something, we add an S to C and we use sees. So here are a couple examples. I see a big bug. When it's I, you use C. Joe and Mac see a big bug. When there's more than one person, you use C. Joe sees a big bug because we use the name of the person and it's only one person, it sees. We also need to talk about how we use instead. So we use saw instead of see when we talk about looking at something in the past. So for example, I saw a shooting star. So with that example, I saw a shooting star, it means it happened before. In this example sentence, it says, Tim saw a big bug last week. It happened in the past. I saw a big bug yesterday. In this case, you always use saw. We don't add an S if it's only one person. Let's take a look now at a couple sentences, and we're going to decide which word is the correct word. So it says, which word completes the sentence correctly? I blank a bug now. So it's happening right now, so it's in the present. So we're going to use see. I see a bug right now. Yesterday, we blank a bug. What happened yesterday? Happened in the past. So we would use saw. They blank and ant till last week. So it happened in the past. Which word should we use if it happens in the past? We use saw. They saw an ant hill last week. The dog, a grasshopper now. Oh, it's happening right now. Okay. So what word should we use? We're going to use see. The dog see a grasshopper now? What's wrong with that? We only named one noun, and so we have to add an S. So it needs to be sees. The dog sees a grasshopper now. That makes more sense.